Hi guys, so Mike just left and I'm able to finally talk about another little like surprise thing that I'm doing for his birthday because I have to wait for him to leave the house so I can talk about it. So I have his gift hiding in the guest bedroom because he like rarely comes in here. Wow, that lighting is pretty bad. Oh, that lighting's bad too. It's all bad in here, but um, he doesn't really come in here like ever. So I figured that this is a good place to hide it. Um, we have like a really small like gym thing set up in the office. So this room is very small. We don't have much room to work with. Um, this is actually Bobby's bike. He's just storing it here and letting us use it, which is very nice. Um, but it barely fits because the room is so small. So we have a little bike and then Mike has his bench over here and weights laying everywhere. And I figured that it would be really nice to get a weight stand and I hope that it's going to fit. I'm not even sure if it will, but I thought it would be nice to have that instead of them laying on the floor. And we're starting to scuff the wall and stuff. So I wanted to get a nice little rack to hold them. I tried to find like a smallish one and uh, you know, I'm hoping that it fits. The dilemma here is it's pretty heavy. The box was a little difficult to get back here. Nothing like his boxing bag though, two years ago, which I filmed for you guys and we had to bring it in the house and stuff and it was just, absolute chaos but I got it done so I was able to get this inside and it is nothing like the heavy bag like I said it's really it's not that heavy but it's definitely you know a little heavy so I have to figure out how to build this because I want it to be built and like ready to go so I'm gonna build it in here and keep it in this closet and then I'm just gonna wrap this box so he just opens up this box it'll already be ready and assembled because I feel like that's that's fun with a present. Like if it's already ready to go, that's pretty cool. Instead of opening up the box and being like, dang, now I have to build this. So hopefully I can pull this off. If I can't, I will be asking for Bobby's help and he's gonna have to help me, but I think I can do it. This was just giving me flashbacks of the heavy bag and I thought it was really funny and I wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna try and put this together and then I have to wrap this big box for his birthday. Piglet loves the guest bedroom. It's like a playground for her. She zooms and runs and she loves to rip up that carpet over there and she just goes crazy in here. She was just about to start zooming, but I ruined her plans. Now she's acting like she wasn't up to anything bad. Right? Are you putting on an act? <laughs> Before I go and you know tackle this project, I'm gonna go to UPS really quick and ship out some cookies for a friend for her birthday. So I'm gonna go do that really, really quick. Whenever I come back, I want to interrupt this little project that I have going on because Mike and I had to tell you guys a story. It's one of the most insane <laughs> stories ever and we think that it is really hilarious. So we wanted to share it with you guys. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I'm trying out this new monster drink. It's called Ultra Strawberry Dreams, and it is really, really good. So if you like Monster, and it doesn't really taste like strawberries, it kind of does, but if you like like a sweeter drink, this is super good. I highly recommend. So I'm gonna go do this, and then we will come back, tell you guys the hilarious story, and then I'm gonna start working on Mike's present. Okay, you guys, so it's time for the story, and Little Miss Piggy is gonna be a part of this story because it's about her. <laughs> the other night, I showed Mike a Facebook post. It's this big, lengthy post. You guys can't even see it at all, but I could pop it up on the screen if you guys wanna pause it and read it. And it warns you that it is mating season for skunks. And I read it out loud to Mike because I figured our backyard is the perfect yard for nature. And we always have deer and owls and bunnies and all sorts of animals back there. So I figured we need to look out for skunks. I gave you a warning yeah. that there could be skunks. I'm not gonna go out there and clap though. It's just so bizarre. <laughs> you have to let the skunk know that you're the there. Skunk should just not be in the yard. No, they're sweet little, they're actually sweet babies. If you read that page, it tells you that they're very nice animals. So Mike has a story to tell because he's basically, well, you know, the person you're gonna see the camera story. footage, but it's very embarrassing. <laughs> it's very sad, but I left Oisa out to go to the bathroom and I see some movement over the bushes and I'm like, oh, you know, it's probably a rabbit or whatever. And I always bring a flashlight with me and I just kind of out of habit showed it on the flashlight. Well, I saw the white and I was like, oh uh -oh. no, I know what that is. So Goose sees it and sprints over there. She heard it running around. She sprints over there and I'm yelling. I'm like, Goose, don't do it. Don't do it. And she held off for a really long time. She's a really good girl. She really held off. But then once that skunk was trying to get out of the fence and make it all these terrible noises. It was just too much. So she takes off after the skunk 
And she was like right up on it for a while. And I'm like, well, this is it. She's completely sprayed. It's gonna be atrocious. She's chasing the skunk around. The skunk is desperately trying to get out of the fence. The poor baby. It can't fit because it's too fat. And uh, anyway, so it gets out. No big deal. Goose was just sniffing it. She was sniffing it. She wasn't like attacking it or anything. So that's pretty good. I smell like it's relatively bad, but I don't. I can't smell that well. So I'm like, all right, maybe it's not too bad. So I took her back in the bedroom and was like, babe, um, can you smell goose? Mind you, this is five in the morning. He it's woke like five, me up. Five in the morning. She said, yeah, it's awful. What happened? I was like, well, she may have been sprayed by a skunk. So she got sprayed, <laughs> but it was like a very mild spray. It's not that bad. It Don't really think. wasn't overpowering or anything, but she got sprayed on her head, I think somewhere and she stinks. Well, this was oh, a man. day after I read the post to him too. It was pretty funny. It was hilarious timing, but that's how it happened. And I, I should have known. <laughs> Well, when he woke me up at five o'clock and he's like, you gotta tell me the truth. I knew right away. I, like I cut him off. I was like, did Piglet get sprayed? I knew, I knew she got sprayed by a skunk. And uh, I don't know if she really did get sprayed though. I was telling Mike, I think maybe the skunk got scared and it sprayed. And then when Piglet ran up to it and was literally like sniffing it, she was touching it. I went back and I looked at the security footage. I didn't realize she was that close. From Mike's story, I didn't know she was that freaking close to the skunk. But I think from her sniffing it, like it was on the skunk's fur, maybe the spray, and it like just got on her because it's really not that bad. She smells like it a little bit though right now. So we're probably gonna give her one more bath, but that's the story. Our little girl got sprayed by a skunk and I never thought that I would see the day because I hear people tell these stories all the time. I just never thought that it would happen to us and here it happened and of course it happened to little piglet. So that's the crazy story. I can't believe it. Thank God I don't always have to vlog in here because the lighting is very, very bad. But I wanted to show you guys, I made progress and it's basically done and it was actually really easy. And with all the parts being separate and stuff, it wasn't too heavy and I did it, it was pretty easy. I got it all together and I only have one other piece here and I'm gonna leave that out because I want either like Mike or Bobby to put it on for me just to be safe and have them like do it so I can watch and make sure that I made everything tight enough and kind of use that as like an example to be like, okay, this is how you do it right. Now, I know I did it right, but I just really, really wanna be sure because heavy weights are gonna be on this. So I wanna make sure that it's absolutely 100% safe and ready to go. So I left just one off, but it's, you know, it's ready. I figured I should probably also show you his cake. So I made a chocolate overload cake. I filmed it on Frenchie's Bakery um, and I did it while he was out filming. So he has no idea about this cake. So it's a homemade chocolate cake with chocolate icing. I used a technique that I've never done before and it was really fun and easy and it turned out really good. And then there's a bunch of chocolate, like his favorite types of chocolates around it. Um, for decoration and stuff. And I'm gonna set this up on the island in the morning with his gifts. So whenever he comes out first thing in the morning, whenever he wakes up, it'll be there waiting for him. And I've never done that before. So I think it's gonna throw him off and I think it'll be a nice surprise for him. Let's go sit down with the gals quick to close out this vlog. Ugh, I have to climb over so many things because we have ramps everywhere for the girls. Piglet is sleeping. She's just chilling. And Oatmeal's over here chilling as well. You girls are very, very spoiled. Do you know that? You're such a cutie. But yeah, I'm gonna close off the vlog here, you guys. I'm super excited for Mike's birthday. I'm excited to just celebrate his life and uh, you know, make a big deal out of it because I think this message I'm about to share, I'm gonna share it a lot of places. I'm gonna share it here. I shared it on Frenchie's Bakery and I'm gonna share it on Instagram on my actual birthday. But I used to be a big birthday hater, kind of. Like, I would think it was the weirdest thing whenever grown adults would like make a big deal out of them and like go over the top. And I always thought like, uh, that's for kids, you know? Like, I don't know, I always, I just thought it was weird. Now you guys know me, I'll throw a party. Like I love to throw a party and go over the top. But for some reason, like, I have no idea how to explain my thought process, but I'm a changed woman. I now know that birthdays are extremely important and celebrating life is, very, very important because life is so precious. I have no clue what Oatmeal's doing. I don't think she knows either. 
she's just getting situated. But it's so precious and life is so short. So I think it is incredibly important to celebrate and be happy for every day that you're given. So from now on, I plan to make birthdays a big deal. Now, like I said, I've always, you know, been a party thrower and love to do that. But even for myself, like I plan to really just go all out because like I said, it's really precious and really important to be thankful for the life that you're given. I'm excited to celebrate Mike's birthday and spoil him and I cannot wait to have that cake because I think it looks super good and I think it's gonna taste really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you all in the next upload. Say bye-bye.